Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. This is our Monday Market Outlook video where we're going to be taking a look at this week in FIFA Ultimate Team and kind of looking at what could happen content-wise, what's going to happen with the market as we exit the Foot Birthday promo and stuff that EA might do to drain some more coins, SPCs that could come or are still going to be present in the game. I want to talk about this with you guys today um, because... We saw another big SBC come out into FIFA today, and that was the version three, version three of the foot birthday party bag, which guarantees you a foot birthday player, foot future stars player, or a shapeshifters player. Uh, and we've seen already as the first two times this has come out, high rates have gone up and there's been some panic on the special cards, which did happen today. I'll talk about this a little bit. And then of course, looking through the rest of this week, um, you know, I'm really interested I'm really, really interested with this mid icon upgrade uh, because it is expiring on Friday and we're going to take a look at what happened with the base icon upgrade because I think that could happen again with this SBC. So we're going to talk about that as well. But again, I want to go over the stuff that happened on, on Sunday and then also talk about stuff that could happen, you know, possible investments that you could still make as you're watching this video early on Monday. As you can see, I bought a lot of cards that were getting panic sold today. This is the beginning of my list. A couple of foot birthdays. Uh, a shapeshifter, a tall, um, and then some future stars and a shapeshifter. I didn't spend a ton. I spent about 6 million coins, uh, which is actually not that much when you have 11 or 12 sitting around. Um, I did get myself a Holland this morning, a Holland, excuse me, saying it correctly. I got this guy for 155, uh, and he's back to 17, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm going to be looking to, dude, I used this card one game as well when I was playing some Weekend League. Absolutely phenomenal card, but um, there was some. There was plenty of panic on these this morning. I'm not. I'm not going to say it was actual panic. There wasn't a ton of panic. If we go and take a look at some of these teams, a lot of the prices didn't legit have like panic this morning. It was just kind of a sell-off. There's a difference between panic and sell-off, and I think people know that they're you know getting used to these types of SBCs coming out now as i'm recording this video a lot of the prices have since rebounded because a lot of people invested in these cards today they kind of took a small dip this morning and have now gone back up Havertz was 330 this morning he's now like 350 on the market hernandez i got one at 270 he's now 286 rashford's still kind of low this is the thing i want you to get you guys to look at this morning if you're still on foot you're watching this video monday morning you maybe open your squad battle rewards. It's early morning UK time. Take a look at some of these cards again, especially the foot birthdays, because um, this could be like a last second opportunity to invest in some of these. Douglas Costa is still under 500K. Uh, Teo Hernandez, I've got one at 380 today. That was a great buy. Pogba's up, not 100K, but he's up like 50, 60K. Van Dyke is up 50, 60K. Lamar is still chilling around a decent price. Um, and Da Costa and, and Lasagna are you know 126 and 198 if you see these guys if you see the da costa at 190 and lasagna under 120 um and then like teo at 385 lamar at 105 you can still invest in those cards this morning after squad battles if that affects their price um again i'm recording this before squad battles um it just worked for me to record this earlier than usual today so just keep an eye on that. Um, as for the panic with the shapeshifters, this is kind of all done and dusted, right? Alaba today, I got my Alaba on my transfer list at 255. He's back up to 265. Vinicius was 45 at one point today. Alexander Arnold was 175. Conte was 720. Um, he's back to 785. Mendy was under 700K. Uh, some of the future stars actually had fantastic fluctuations. Like the whole on, right? This guy was 155 this morning. I bought one there. He's back to 169. I bought somebody else as well. I bought Telemans, man. I bought, I think, three or four Telemans for 237K, and he's now back to 260. So that's a big GG there. I wanted to go more all in with my coins. I wanted to go more all in on the panic selling on the future stars and with the shapeshifters. Um, but I wanted to keep some coins liquid this week to trade with as well, and maybe possibly snag a couple more for birthdays if possible um i do want to watch that but um i bought some of these cards and you can still look around the market for some low prices bruno fernandez 639 is that still on the market is this bruno fernandez actually still 639 because that is low that is low but this is what i'll be doing early monday morning if you're watching this video you got a little bit of time 
Maybe you're headed to work or something, a little work from home action before you start up your work from home. Or if, if you're still going into work, you're a real trooper out there, essential service or something. Um, stay safe as well, boys, by the way. Just, just throw that out there. But wherever you're at this morning, um, just look for some low prices around the rest of the market on, on out of packs in forums, out of pack specials like this Bruno still interests me like the 630,000 coin range right there. I will take that as another Bruno is entering my club. Um, I like this Bruno because the player of the month is expiring and that's the best version of Bruno. that's going to be in this game. Uh, as people get that storyline, Fred, as people have Rashford, I have Pogba, if they want to do like a man United side. Um, and just people that like Man United and like the Bruno Fernandez uh, links there, this is a card that a lot of people want to use. So I like him rising a little bit extra this week just because of that. So that's one to look at. What's his inform at as well? His inform is usually around like the 350, 360 range. He gets low. Okay, yeah, he's 3, 349. If I saw this at 330, I would be a fan of that too. But um, again, do some shopping around the market. Look at, go to Footbin, do exactly what I was doing here. Scroll through the team of the weeks, the, the out of packs team of the weeks. And also tonight after squad battles, watch this team of the week, man. This team of the week is going to be investable because there were no lightning rounds this week. Lewandowski, this card interests me a ton. I'm not going to lie. Lewa interests me a lot because these cards, this is, this is being very overlooked right now uh, on this game because Lewa is 390k. His next inform is 231, and then his next, the 96, is 1.1 mil. So I am a big fan of Lewandowski if you can snag him. I don't know, man. What is this a good price? 390. He's been 415. Let me check this, man, because this interests me. Team of the Week moments seem to be supplied a little bit more than regular Team of the Week cards. Um, but yeah, 380 for this? Bro, tonight after squad battles, I don't know why there would be supply for a 94 rated inform after squad battles. But if you see... A little bit of supply on this card. If you're somebody who's got a decent amount of coins, this could be a card you go into uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, I'm going to say like 390 is not a bad price for this guy because um, of the rarity of how this Team of the Week moments is going to be. Let me take a quick look. 388, I will take that and I will get my feet wet with Lewandowski. Send it into the transfer list. I like this Team of the Week again because of... The, the rarity and the packs that weren't open. So like that Sun card. Right now, I think Sun is 1.2, 1.27. See, Team of the Week moments are always a little more uh, supplied on this game than um, than like a normal Team of the Week card is. But still, still uh, this is like the second best level card in the game. And uh, I, I wouldn't say that putting some money into this week's Team of the Week would be bad sooner rather than later. Um, I'm not probably not going to buy a Sun, but uh, I do love me some Hyunmin Sun. As a Spurs fan, so if I could snag one of these like at 1.2 mil, I might have to pull the trigger. But um, this guy will probably be 1.5 in, in the next week or so uh, because it's just Hyunmin Sun. It's going to be the best available version of his card, and uh, people love Sun in this game. He's a very very good card. So sleeper investment is just watch Team of the Week. Um, Lewandowski, Sun, Ilicic, Jamie Vardy, maybe a little bit, but other than that, this Team of the Week isn't super investable. Other than those few. So that's my thoughts on the team of the week this week. I do think you'll start to see them rise as we head out uh, into this week. But again, this morning as you're looking at the market, check through uh, foot birthday cards, other team of the weeks, out of packs. This team of the week moment set one. Nah, get out of here, dude. Is Bale actually 310k? Is Gareth Bale actually 310k? Because I will buy Gareth Bale's at 310k. If he's there, I will clear him. He is not Take a look at the market, and he's 320. I'm going to add this to my watch list because I bought this card the last two weeks at 320K in the weekly sell off, and I've sold it at 350, 357 to be exact, uh, later on in the week. So uh, just keep your eyes out for just, just panic around the market on other special cards, out of packs, uh, whatever it may be. What did this level go for? Wow, 379. 379 for that level. That was a good bid, man. Look at the open bids tonight as well. Here's another one. I might snag me into the Lewa at 370 if this person would so allow me to on the open bid. I think that was a fresh one as well. I would take that. Let's see if this guy lets me go to like 379. That'll probably be my, or 380 is probably my limit. But that's what you guys can be doing this morning when you're looking around the market. Look for some low stuff because I think the market this week is going to continue rising into the end of the week. I think the market's going to rise throughout this week. What, what is there to do? 
this week on the game. And this is what I want to talk about. I'm going to probably stop at 385. That's my final price. Thank you. Take it or leave it right there. Uh, this week on the game, what is there going to be to do? Uh, all you're going to have to do is whatever SBCs are left in here, Ryan, whatever objectives that you haven't finished yet, probably those, uh, the friendly objectives. Um, and this is going to be a week where people maybe wrap up doing some of these, these SBCs and there's not that much else to do is, I don't know if EA is going to run a promo this week, to be honest. We'll, we'll be on the lookout for a loading screen. Of course, Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, we'll, we'll be on the lookout for a loading screen if EA wants to drop a promo. Um, but again, I mentioned this at, at the beginning of the video. This is the thing that I'm the most interested in this week. The mid-icon upgrade because the second time, what both times a mid-icon upgrade has been out or both times that a, an icon upgrade has been out, in FIFA, right? I'm going to I'm going to take you guys back to the expired section on SBCs on footbin.com and show you the base icons because both times we had a base icon upgrade come into foot, it was right before a massive promo. Base icon upgrade number 1. This is base icon upgrade number 1 that came out in November, right? November 21st. Black Friday was November 27th right here. Boom. We have a base icon upgrade that is out during Black Friday and into Footmas, um, and then it goes away, right? This was out for about a month, which is about how long the mid icon upgrade has been out. It expires on Friday in game. Now, if I go back again, and if I search base icon to find the other, find the other base icon upgrade, which came out, um, this one came out literally a week after. So that one, the first one ended December 15th and this one started December 23rd. So the second base icon upgrade came out with cheaper requirements a week after. And what happened in this time frame? We were in the middle of foot miss and then boom, team of the year. In my opinion, I think that EA Sports is going to re up this mid icon SBC either, inst either right away or in a week. And this is going to be available during team of the season. I think there will either be a mid icon upgrade, a base icon upgrade, um, or both available during team of the season. Because whenever they have a big promo, they, they put out SBCs that they know people are going to drain their coins into. And what they've also learned this year, I'm talking what EA has learned. EA has learned that people in this game love the icon upgrade SBCs. They're addicted to them, man. A ton of people in this game have done multiple of these SBCs, and EA knows it. And it just creates a higher for, floor for fodder in this game. I think I won that Lewandowski. I did not. Rip. Um, it creates a higher floor for the high-rated the high rated fodder in this game. So what does that mean by a high-rated floor? Right now, because of the Party Bag SBC, uh, Timo Werner is an 86-rated card that I look at a lot. This dude is crazy expensive. 30, wait, whoa, that's a bad one to look up because he's got the lower rated card. Never mind. Wow, are you kidding me? The cheapest 86 rated card on the market right now is Leroy Sané. Leroy Sané is the cheapest gold 86 rated card in the game, and he's 35,000 coins. Now, what, uh, Sané is not a good one to, to, to begin with, but let's look at Werner's 86 because I want to complete this point. It, when we have an Icon SBC that is out, look at this, man. The, the mid icon upgrade came out right here and it just increases the price of fodder, right? It just increases the price of fodder right away. We have a promo come out. It drops down a little bit, but it's 17 K instead of 12 K 86 is without an icon SBC without that demand 12, 13, 14,000 coins, really, really cheap. Icon SBC comes out, boom, 20 K initially. They kind of drop off with promo packs, set one of foot birthday. You know, they're 18,000 coins, and then boom, we have all these party bags. They go to 25, he came back down, and now he's back up 33K. When the mid icon goes away this Friday, if it goes away and if it stays away, you will see the SBC fodder trickle down in price. Maybe not back down to like 12K for the 86s, but maybe like 14 or 15,000 coins. And that's going to be a fantastic time to club stock for when that does come back. I always like to club stock 86s at like. 14,000 coins is like my buy time for the 86s and do buy them and do a club stock. I don't trade with fodder a ton, but um, that is kind of how I, do, I trade with the fodder. This goes away in four days. Basically, in the next week, all of these SBCs are going to go away. Hulk is here for five days. Manolis is here for three. Uh, Sancho is here for four. We do have a play of the month of Bob Bay that is supposed to be coming. EA FIFA France tweeted a couple weeks ago 
um, to somebody that was asking about it and they said, we're working with League Gun Player of the Month to figure out when they're going to release that award and then we will make an SBC available in game. So Player of the Month Mbappe is going to come, it seems like to me. Um, but again, this is what I said all along. We're waiting on the League Gun. So that's just a side note. But this week on foot, I would expect to see the fodder begin to drop off because in the midweek, what is there to do midweek in FIFA? There's really not much to do. If you want a 100k pack, uh, you can do this foot friendlies objective, but you don't want to open a 100k pack after foot birthdays go away and there's nothing else to open packs for and, and nothing else in packs. So uh, yeah, this week on the market, I think there's going to be stuff rising. I don't expect a promo this Friday. I think it's just going to be the mid icon SBC is going to expire and maybe they'll throw something else out in the game. I, I don't know. I kind of hope we get a promo, but I don't expect one. All right. I, I don't expect a promo. I expect rising prices all week. It's going to be a great week to trade. You're going to be able to make coins this week on the market by trading with these out of pack special cards with the foot birthdays as they go out of packs. Again, if, if you have a fresh foot birthday card or a foot birthday card with shadow or hunter chemistry styles on an attacker or defender, uh, that's going to add value, right? Lucas Hernandez. When the cards are in packs, a lot of times you don't have the craziest differences between the Hunter and Shadow. But a Lucas Hernandez with a Shadow, how much? Foot birthday, Lucas Hernandez, 300k with a Shadow. How much is he without the Shadow? The man is 288,000 coins without the Shadow. So there's a 12k difference right there. And you have 15,000 coins of tax at 300k. So, um, yeah, that's something that you could be trading with this week as well. Because a lot of people want to use these Foot Birthdays. A lot of people are willing to pay the money to try them out, and a lot of people like to use them with the chemistry style. So, Lucas Hernandez is one example. Let me look at, like, Teo Hernandez. Uh, you know, we like looking at this card as well. I got a couple of these in my transfer list at, like, 380 which is a solid price. What does he go for with the shadow? He's You don't really need a shadow on this guy because he's already got 96 pace, but... Theo Hernandez with the shadow is... Are you kidding me? Nah, for real... Is there are there any of them with shadows in this five? There's no way that he actually sells at this price. Um, but there's a trading opportunity right there. Maybe you can get somebody if you list a, a Theo Hernandez with a shadow at 430,000 coins, and right now he's 390. You might get somebody to bite on that because of the shadow chem style. So look out for that type of trading this week. Icons should be good to trade as well. If you're looking at icons on the Sunday downturn, that's a great time to look at these as well. This is a card that's been in my mind lately. He's not low, that's for sure. Um, probably up a bit, but I guess due to Hulk. That might be a reason why he could be up a bit in price because of the Hulk SBC. I do watch Rivaldo's price a decent amount, though. Yeah, he's still staying pretty high. But watch the Panic Cell. Again, the Weekend League sell-off on these cards. If some cards are still low, uh, icon-wise as well, mids and baby icons, definitely look to hop on that. Makalele is returning to his low, of course. If this guy gets under 400k, that's kind of a close to buy price for me. Maybe like 390 or something. But just watch the panic sell for this week. Again, this week on the market, I think SBC fodder is going to tail off as people lose interest in the SBCs that we have out in game and the mid icon goes away on Friday. And then depending on what EA does, uh, I do expect special cards and other things in this game to rise up this week. So if there was stuff that was um, hit by a substitute good, like this Juan Jesus, um, one of my viewers in my Twitch chat pointed this out to me. You know who you are. This guy got hit because of the uh, Manolas SBC, right? 100,000 coins with a shadow. I would, oh, 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 somebody was ahead of me on that Juan Jesus, man. Um, but if you see this guy still at 100,000 coins, he was 120 last week before the Manolas came out. And again, this is a Brazilian link. Brazilians are very popular in this game. Brazilian in the Serie A as well. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. Some stuff that got panic sold this week, like center backs from the Serie A should be able to rise back up in price a little bit because the Manolas SBC goes away in three days. Stuff like that, all right? Substitute trading and stuff like that. We will be making some videos on how to trade on this market this week. I'll be talking to you guys about that. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what this week holds, man. We will see what this week holds. I know a lot of people have invested in Phil Birthdays. So if you're in that crowd, if you're in that crew, um, don't expect these cards to rise up a ton right away, especially on the lower end. A lot of people bought this Danny DaCosta today. A lot of people bought Havertz today. So I would not say that these cards are going to rise super duper fast, super duper high. Uh, I think it might take a little bit, especially for the lower end, because they did, they did get invested in decently heavy today. So expect to wait a little bit on those. But I think you'll see those cards generally start to push up 
this week on game and hopefully we get something that we can kind of like grind during the week because without full birthdays and packs these SBCs there's just not a stuff to not a lot of stuff to do this SBC is abysmal I'm glad that it goes away in 18 hours because that's a disgrace of an SBC to FIFA that should be an 81 plus uh, team of the week or team of the week moments but this should be a good week for trading uh, if that's something that you're into SBC fodder not SBC fodder sorry league SBC prices I know a lot of those non-rare golds and non-rare silvers have been up those should start to drop back down because there will be less demand for league SBCs um, there might be a little bit of demand because fodder is still high but there will be less demand because the uh, foot birthdays are going out of packs and a lot of people were just grinding those league SBCs over and over to get packs to try to pack up a birthday so that's something you could see maybe on the decline this week as well hopefully you get some more news from ea sports on what they're going to do with this game this week uh because the gameplay cannot sustain this game game unfortunately it's uh got to come from the content right uh the the menu content in this game is what is pushing this game along and making it popular because the gameplay is Definitely not up to par and, and not doing that at this time. So if you guys have any questions, of course, drop them down below in the comments. I'll be there answering some of those. Like this video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. That's the market outlook for this week in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. It's been Nate, the photo accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.